All right, part three. So here's the thing. We had a perfectly working VGA cable. Upon second thought, I really don't want to hack it up. So have a bunch of wire that I was going to use to build a main machine. Eh, that may happen someday. In the meantime, we got a pinball to improve. So uh, we'll use the red, green, blue wire for the RGB. Uh, we'll use white for the sinks and black for the two grounds. And basically, I've got a bunch of leftover... Molex connectors because I seem to have to recrimp every burnt GI connector in every game I ever owned. So I got a bunch of those, a bunch of Triforcon pins, crimper, wire stripper. Basically, I'm just going to create my own harness here for the first time. Um, hold this all together with some zip ties, make it real clean. I measured about uh, 50 inches or so worth of uh, cabling in the existing VGA connector uh, to the uh, PCB board that goes uh, to the VGA monitor. So I'm just going to make this uh, five feet long, call it even. If we've got some extra slack, that's fine. So be right back after we build this connector here. All right, we're back. I'm a meteorologist, so I'm not going to lie. Just kidding. Um, this really didn't take that long, just about five minutes or, or less to, to crimp these on, but uh, cut five feet length of wire, uh, RGB, two whites, two blacks, uh, put them in the appropriate connector, connections, rather, red, green, blue, two in the sink, two in the ground, and obviously the bottom one is left empty per Andy's instructions. Tied it up with some zip ties, and on the other end, a 10-pin connector, same as what's in the Revenge from Mars now. We've got red, green, blue, black ground. Five, six, and seven pins are empty. Another ground in our two sinks. So let's go hook this up and uh, say a brief prayer. And hopefully it'll be ready to go.